Challenge Rift 122. From what I hear, some people are having a bit of problems with this one. You've come to the right place, because your dear old uncle, this creepy looking guy right here, I played the Barbarian class last season. Hammer of the Ancients was a build that I'm very familiar with that I played uh, with the Immortal King's full set. So, Ronan and Diana, I heard you're having issues, sorry to hear, you've come to the right place, I'll show y'all how it's done. Let's go on in and see what we are dealing with here. So like I mentioned, it is a Barbarian, Hammer of the Ancients Barbarian, full Immortal King set here. I'm not going to go through all the, the, the gear and what goes with what and all the stats and statistics and the bits and bobs that you need to know. We're just going to get straight into the mechanics and I'll show y'all how it's done. I do want to mention that the most important item I think for a Hammer of the Ancients type build is the Gavel of Judgment here. So damage for from Hammer of the Ancients is increased by 800% and it returns 25 fury if it hits three or fewer enemies, which is what's going to happen here. We're going to pretty much be at maximum fury the entire time. So once we build up fury right at the beginning of the challenge rift, we'll keep it up 100% of the time, all the time, because as you can see here, the rune that, that this player has chosen is critical hit heals you. So it's not the rune that expands the radius of uh, the Hammer of the Ancient skill. So it's gonna be quite a small radius, small little area of, of hit damage. And it's, it's most of the time we're gonna be hitting three or fewer enemies regardless. Let's talk about the skills real quick and we'll get right into the action. Hammer of the Ancients, like I mentioned, we're using as the primary damage dealer. Battle Rage, Wrath of the Berserker, Call of the Ancients, Ignore Pain, and Threatening Shout. So what you want to do, as soon as you click on the Obelisk, enter the Challenge Rift, you want to activate Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients straight away. If you come across enemies or, or dent, dense, well pretty much density definitely in Elites, Whenever it's active, almost, you can use it, but use your Threatening Shout. That'll decrease the damage that enemies do. If there's a lot of density around, you're taking a lot of damage, and pretty much for the most part, you want to uh, be using Ignore Pain. Make sure it's up there, and then start casting your Hammer of the Ancients here. And once you get that Fury up, then you can just keep on spamming. Keep on reactivating uh, Wrath of Berserker, Call of the Ancients. Even though Call of the Ancients lasts until they die, if you reactivate them or resummon them, then if you're spamming Hammer of the Ancients onto an Elite, uh, recasting Call of the Ancients there, it'll make them spawn right on top of the Elite's head there. Don't forget Threatening Shout. Use your Ignore Pain whenever humanly possible. And with Battle Rage, obviously you want to activate that as soon as you can, but as a personal challenge for me, I'm not going to use it for this challenge rift, just to show everyone how easy this actually can be. Trust me, this is super damn easy. That's how you do it. Let's go on in, do this one together, enough talk. It's one thing to do it out here, completely different to do it inside. So, you know how to do it. The basic mechanics of how to make this work. Like I said, I'm not going to cast Battle Rage in there because I want to prove to everyone this is pretty damn easy and I'm going to blitz the time without using this critical hit chance buff. Alright, let's go on in. Love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe now if you haven't already. Okay? Okay, Wrath of the Berserker, Call of the Ancients straight away. I use Threatening Shed, Ignore Pain, and just target some of these enemies right at the start to, with your Hammer of the Ancients, and that way you get your Fury right up there. And then, you're pretty much set. So when you get to this Elite Pack, get that Ignore Pain up as well. So I timed it just right, making sure that I could activate it when I hit that Elite Pack. It's very important to have Ignore Pain up before you hit Elites. Sometimes you might not have it, but keep an eye on it. Spam, 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 and just pray that it's active. So next Elite Pack here. We just keep on moving. As you can see, I'm moving very quickly. I've got that speed pylon, and I kind of did a U-turn there. So I'm going backwards, because we just I know that that other pylon was there. So now we've got two pylons that we're benefiting from at the moment. I love this speed pylon. It's so good. And Hammer of the Ancients does so much damage, so keep that in mind. Make sure you're pretty much always uh, throwing out Hammer of the Ancients there, because with, with melee packs or melee enemies, when they come towards you, they won't get close enough because you're going to be Hammer of the Ancients in their asses and they'll die rather quickly. Make sure you get the orb there. Very important when you come across elites to really make sure that that ignore pain is up because they can one-shot you. That's the big issue with this 
challenge rift is you can get one shot. But as you can see, we're one-shotting things as well, pretty much. It doesn't take long to smash through, carve through those. Ah, damn it! Concentration, baby, concentration. That's alright, we died. If you die, don't worry. Like, we're doing pretty good for time, so I'm going to keep on going. Don't forget to use that threatening shield, especially if Ignore Pain is down. It will reduce the damage you take from enemies. It reduces their damage that they inflict to you. Alright, so next floor, baby. And basically just keep on reactivating your Wrath of the Berserker and Call of the Ancients. With Call of the Ancients, they do last until you die, but if I'm spamming Hammer of the An Ancients on an Elite, then I'll usually reactivate Call of the Ancients, because that way they respawn right on top of his head, and they help you immensely with damage. Now we're coming across probably the most difficult bit in this Challenge Rift, one of the most dangerous areas. Right here, there's two yellow elites. You've got to make sure that you have Ignore Pain. And they suck you. They suck you and teleport you and stuff. I mean, sorry. Not suck you. They don't actually suck you. I meant teleport. No, they suck you in and actually move, reposition you. So we'll go back, make sure we don't miss those juicy orbs. Plenty of orbs there. We're pulling ahead of time so much. So easy. And now this is where you're home free. This shield pylon is super important. You want to definitely not waste any time at all and run towards elites, which I'm doing here. <clears throat> there are two elites on this floor. Just keep on going. Ignore this. These, these little pesky enemies. This is the other elite. Smash him. Make sure you use threatening shout. Cast threatening shout. Ignore pain and just hammer of the ancient spamage. Now, very important on this floor. Make sure you go this way. So we don't want to go left or down left, we want to keep going across. There's two elites we're going to come across, and after killing them, we're basically straight away going to spawn the Rift Guardian. And we should still be benefiting from the shield pylon, or I might just run out in this case. But if you time it right, you'll definitely get up into the leaderboards. We'll spawn now. Here we go. So we just ran out of, ran out of the shield pylon effect, and there you go, one shot. That's the problem with this challenge rift. So make sure now when you respawn you have your ignore pain available and that way we're going to smash through him. So all cooldowns were available. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Super easy and please note I didn't use my battle rage at all throughout this entire challenge rift. Just to prove to everybody that it is very, very easy. Didn't need that buff at all. And I wasn't trying to get some sort of leaderboard or some time. I just want my materials so I can keep on pecking away at this season. I haven't played all that much, to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to the next one quite a lot. I didn't really enjoy the season of Triune. I didn't enjoy... I thought the, the power rings would be a big game changer but it turns out they're so random with their spawn times and how long they stay spawned for like some of them just last for you know a split second so by the time you get to the actual circle it just disappears so wasn't a very enjoyable season this season but having said that i'm a very very busy person i'm playing heaps of other games i'm really enjoying movies at the moment as well tv shows uh, catching up on my American Horror Story while watching the brand new one, 1984. So I love my nostalgic 80s retro stuff. So I'm obviously really enjoying this season of American Horror Story, which reminds me I'm reviewing each episode as it happens. So check that out on my channel as well. Hit that thumbs up button if you found this helpful. If you're one of the people that have been struggling with this week's Challenge Rift, I hope that this helps you and... Living proof is that I didn't need to use Battle Rage there for the entire the entirety of the Challenge Rift. It is very, very easy. Just have to definitely focus. You need to focus, concentrate, and make sure that you use all of those skills when the cooldowns are available like I explained them. So good luck, my fellow adventurers. I love you all. If you haven't subscribed, subscribing will show your support to the creepy one. We will continue growing the creepy army. Don't forget to click that notification bell. So that way, activate them. And every time a new video pops, you will be notified. Love you all. See you again real soon.